These are the NetCare Medical Scheme's 10 Golden Rules. Firstly, please familiarize yourself with the rules. Make sure that you understand your rights and responsibilities. Obtain pre-authorization where necessary, even for follow-up visits. And remember, an authorization doesn't guarantee full settlement. Always make use of designated service providers and, if possible, negotiate better rates with them. Make sure that you get screened for any health matters. If you have chronic conditions, please inquire about our treatment plans. Please check your monthly member statement. If you are in doubt about anything, get in touch with our client contact center. To view the 2017 Scheme Rules, Benefits, Contributions and Administrative Forms, log on to www.netcaremedicalscheme.co.za. To search for cover that you will get from a specific provider, log on to the Maps tool through the Doctor Visits tab. Register on the site to review your statements, claims details, savings balance and any other personal information. Unless otherwise stated, all limits are per beneficiary per annum. Hearing aids are limited to 16,070 Rand, including repairs and maintenance. Other appliances are limited to 3,370 Rand per annum. Prostheses are limited to 69,590 Rand a year with additional sublimits. Basic radiology and dentistry limits increased by 6% and an annual family limit applies. Specialized radiology is unlimited but may have a co-payment out of hospital except for PMBs. While nine specialists consultations are covered per beneficiary per annum. Out of hospital pathology is limited to 3000 Rand per beneficiary per annum. The chronic disease list conditions have no limits, while depression as a non-chronic disease list condition has a limit of 2,310 Rand per beneficiary per annum. The Medical Schemes Act makes provision for late joiner penalties for those who wait until they are older to join and are likely to need more cover. We will not impose a late joiner penalty to the main member, irrespective of if they join within 30 days or not. Late joiner penalties will also not be imposed to the spouse, partner or adult child of the main member if they join with the main member within 30 days from starting his or her employment. This does not apply to special dependents such as parents. Other than the concessions just mentioned, late joiner penalties will apply to all new applicants over the age of 35, including a spouse, partner or adult child that has been added at a later date. The late joiner penalty will be imposed on all special dependents aged 35 and over. Dependents will be penalized in age groups for the number of years that they have not been on a medical scheme after the age of 21. All benefits and limits are subject to managed care rules and protocols. Non-emergency hospital admissions outside of DSPs are charged a 25% co-payment for the whole event. Hospital procedures are paid at 100% of the net care medical scheme tariff. Unless it is an emergency, procedures in the emergency department will be paid from savings. When using a non-designated service provider for a colonoscopy or gastroscopy, a 500 Rand co-payment will apply. A co-payment of 500 Rand will apply to out-of-hospital MRI and CT scans as well as bone densitometry scans for members under the age of 50. No co-payment will apply if it is a prescribed minimum benefit. Pre-authorization is required for IVP, tomography, contrast studies, MRI, bone densitometry, CT and PET scans and mammograms. And failure to pre-authorize any of the nine specialist visits will result in payment from savings. 
To avoid co-payments, it is recommended to use preferred providers. Specialist follow-up visits must be pre-authorized. The specialist benefit will pay for one optometry consultation a year without pre-authorization. A limit of 3,000 Rand applies to out-of-hospital pathology. The risk benefit will pay for one flu vaccination per member per annum if it is obtained from a designated service provider pharmacy. You will have to apply and meet the chronic benefit entry criteria for your condition in order to be registered on the chronic illness benefit. In-hospital dentistry is paid from the annual family dentistry limit and not the unlimited hospital benefit. All in and out of hospital dentistry is subject to dental managed care protocols. Pre-authorization is required for prosthesis and appliances. Pre-authorization is only a clinical confirmation and does not guarantee payment. Child contribution rates apply up to the age of 21, while full and part-time students with valid registration documents enjoy child contribution rates until the age of 25. Proof of registration must be submitted annually to avoid adult rates being charged. When a child dependent who is still studying turns 25, they will be regarded as an adult dependent. If they are still financially dependent on the main member, proof must be submitted. Because HR does not inform the scheme of any changes made to personal and contact details, any changes must be submitted directly to the scheme. The company subsidy will be communicated to members via their HR offices. This table shows the annual contribution rates that will come into effect on the 1st of March 2017. Contribution increases have been kept to a minimum, taking into account the claims ratio and the scheme's solvency rate. NetCare Medical Schemes rates are still very competitive given the benefits enjoyed by its members. All contact details are available on the scheme's website, as well as the member brochure and the pocket guide. NetCare Medical Scheme for Employees of NetCare. You're in safe hands.